Number 11, ADX Florence. When it comes to incarceration rates, the US is at the global forefront and ADX Florence is the crown jewel of its prison system. It's the only facility classed as a supermax, meaning that it's beyond maximum security and specially designed to hold inmates most capable of violence. Inmates spend 23 hours per day in cells made almost entirely of poured concrete to prevent self-harm. Their contact with others is so limited that days or weeks may go by in which only a few words are spoken to them, an Amnesty International report found. The windows designed so that inmates are unaware of their exact location in the prison, only open for them to see the sky and roof. Planning an escape is virtually impossible. ADX Florence features a wide array of motion sensors, cameras, and remote-controlled steel doors. If an escape attempt is suspected, a single button locks down the entire facility. ADX Florence is the final destination for some of the most notorious criminals in the world. Aside from high-profile terrorists, it holds notable figures of organized crime like Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, the former leader of the Sinaloa cartel, and Tyler Bingham, founder of the Aryan Brotherhood. Number 10. San Pedro The San Pedro prison in the Bolivian capital of La Paz is unusual in the sense that it's fully self-governing and inmates are actually supposed to pay for their cells, which aren't assigned by prison officials. The wealthiest area is called La Posta, where the rich can buy luxury cells with private bathrooms, a kitchen and cable TV. They can even add second-level extensions to their cells, which give them views of the city. However, most of the prison's nearly 3,000 inmates live crammed in single-room cells. San Pedro is a society within itself where people have jobs and responsibilities. It's common for the incarcerated to live in the community with their families. Acts of aggression against women or children are severely punished. The laws of the community are enforced by elected leaders while the prison's borders are patrolled directly by police officers who have no authority to punish or reward the inmates. This makes them highly susceptible to bribery and one of the reasons for the prison's booming cocaine trade. The drugs are produced in labs directly in the prison and sold to visiting tourists or smuggled outside of San Pedro. There are daily tours organized in the prison, despite tourism inside being officially illegal. Number 9. Aranjuez Prison In Aranjuez Prison, located in the Spanish city of the same name, children are allowed to live behind bars alongside their incarcerated parents. The spacious cells tend to be child-themed, complete with toys and posters of Disney characters. There's also a playground and a children's physician on standby. The operating concept is for children to bond with their parents without realizing they're in prison. Once they reach the age of three, they're taken to live with relatives. While sometimes criticized for basically incarcerated infants, officials stress the importance of this type of family connection, which may also influence inmates to abandon their criminal ways. Number 8. Medici Fortress The Italian culinary arts are so pervasively powerful that they've made it into a maximum security prison as well. A portion of the Medici fortress in the mountaintop town of Volterra doubles as a restaurant. For a select few times per year, it's open to visitors and fully staffed by carefully supervised inmates who prepare and serve the food. Would-be diners still have to pass a background check and they'll also have to go through a metal detector as well as a search. Through the program, the Medici fortress raises a substantial amount of money for charity and tables are booked well in advance. It's also meant to act as a rehabilitation tool in preparing inmates for life after prison. Number 7. Sark's Prison Sark Prison, found on the eponymous island in the southwestern English Channel, is often described as the world's smallest active prison. Built in 1856, the small, barrel-roofed building only has two adjoining cells, each measuring about 6 by 6 feet. There are no windows and a narrow corridor runs the length of the building. With a population of a few hundred people, Sark's police force doesn't have a lot of crime to deal with. However, the prison's history is quite fascinating. One of its earliest occupants was a young girl who'd stolen a handkerchief. She was so terrified of being locked up for three days in the dark cell that officers allowed her to put a chair in the prison's open doorway. Local women sat on it, knitting and talking to the girl until her sentence was done. The following song of crime on Sark was even more peculiar. In 1990, 
a French nuclear physicist named André Gards declared himself as the rightful lord of the island. Armed with a semi-automatic weapon, he put up two posters stating his plans of launching a one-man invasion of Sark. However, before he could put his plan in motion, Gards was promptly punched in the face by a constable and arrested. Number 6. Bastoy Prison In a country known for focusing extensively on rehabilitation instead of incarceration, Norway's Bastoy Prison is the world's most eco-friendly detention center. It's powered by solar panels, food is only prepared on site, and everything is recycled. Surplus food isn't wasted, but sold to other prisons. Bastoy tries to instill a strong sense of environmental responsibility in its inmates. They're rewarded with leisure activities like horseback riding, tennis, or swimming. Number 5. Cerezo Chetumal Mexican prisons throughout the years have garnished a reputation of being places of horror, but Cerezo Chetumal is definitely an exception. It's actually known as the prison which inmates never want to leave due to the amenities they have inside. Some of these include spa treatments, cultural programs, ample food, and even a place where their families can come and spend the night. Inmates are expected to take part in rehabilitation programs that would prepare them for life on the outside. There's a well-stocked library and a computer laboratory that they can use to pursue various specializations. Cerezo Chetumal also has an arts and crafts program that inmates can take part in and create various trinkets, which are then sold to tourists at the prison's gate. Perhaps the most interesting aspect about Cerezo Chetumal is its approach to conflict resolution. It's known as a peaceful prison, which hasn't seen a violent incident in years. That's because whenever there's a problem, inmates can resolve the conflict in the boxing ring. The fight usually goes on for about two rounds and may be extended until the inmates work out their issues. Number 4. Cebu Prison Even though the majority of its inmates are violent offenders, Cebu Prison in the Philippines has implemented a rather unusual rehabilitation program. Prison officials have decided to modify the prison's exercise program to include choreographed dancing. The inmates have put on massive routines, which have become a viral sensation. Any of Cebu's 1,600 inmates can contribute to the performances. One of their earliest releases involved a routine to Michael Jackson's Thriller, which earned millions of views on social media platforms. The maximum security facility, which is known as the Happy Jail, does have its problems. Like many other prisons in the Philippines, it deals with severe overcrowding. Human rights groups talk to some inmates who've claimed that the dancing program is actually a cover for inhumane treatment. Number 3. Squirrel Cage In the 19th century, architect William H. Brown designed a prison oddly reminiscent of a medieval torture device. Known as a rotary jail, the cells were pie-like wedges on a round platform that rotated like a carousel. The prison turned around a core sanitary system and it could be operated by a single guard, hand-rotating a crank. The entire cell block had one opening, meaning that guards could access one cell at a time. The concept allowed for maximum security with minimal contact between guards and inmates. Roughly 18 such buildings were operated in the US, but only one, Iowa's Potawatomi County Jail, was three stories tall. Problems with rotary jails were reported almost immediately. Inmates would constantly get their limbs crushed in the rotation mechanism. They lived in constant terror whenever the cell block started turning. Most rotary jails were condemned by 1939, while the one in Potawatomi County operated for a few more decades. The last rotary jail that still turns today can be found in Crawfordsville, Indiana. Today's topic was inspired by Reese Thomas. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Justice Center Leoben Justice Center Leoben in Austria emphasizes the humane treatment of prisoners. This is underlined by an inscription on the prison's perimeter that reads, All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. The minimum security prison is described as a five-star facility and often compared to a resort. Inmates wear their own clothes and have access to a communal kitchen where they can prepare their own food. The idea is that the more humanely they're treated in the prison, the easier their adjustment will be upon their release. Perhaps the most interesting and unconventional aspect about Justice Center Leoben is the design of the actual building. It's an architecturally stunning mix of glass and steel, reminiscent of a corporate headquarter. 
It was designed in such a way because architect Joseph Hoynsin wanted the inmates to benefit from abundant natural light. Before we move on, official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. It's out of this world. Number 1. Black Dolphin Prison Black Dolphin Prison houses around 700 of Russia's most terrifying criminals, including terrorists, child molesters, cannibals, and serial killers. When talking to a media outlet, one guard claimed that to call them people makes your tongue bend backwards. The facility gets its common name from the Black Dolphin sculpture in front of the main entrance. Inmates must adhere to an extremely strict code of conduct that has led to the prison being compared to the infamous Soviet gulags. They're monitored around the clock, isolated, and held in cells that close with a set of three steel doors. Every day they're fed the same combination of soup and bread. Cells are checked every 15 minutes, and any command inmates are given must be answered with, yes sir. They're blindfolded and held in stress positions whenever they're escorted through the prison to prevent them from mapping out escape routes or attacking guards. Thanks for watching. Would you spend a year in Supermax for $100,000? Let us know in the comments section below.